agricultural production has gotten uh, cleaner, more more productive per unit area, uh, you know, per acre, uh, more productive per volume of water, and the yields uh, are escalating constantly too. And so not only are we producing more, but it's of a higher quality. Uh, you can take lots of examples of uh, genetically engineered uh, crops that reduce our uh, input of insecticides and, in fact, make the crop much cleaner. One of the programs that I thought would be uh, imminently uh, demonstrated in Arizona was genetically engineered cotton that contained uh, the Bacillus thuringiensis toxin. And the Bt toxin uh, is found normally in soil bacteria. It's, uh, you can take and isolate the soil bacteria and spray it on the crops and protect them from moths who uh, lay their eggs on the crop and then their larvae eat into the crop. So the, uh, pink, the pink bollworm is one of those. The moth flies around, lays its eggs on, and eats up the bowls. And in the process of eating up the bowls, it also delivers a potent uh, pathogen uh, with Aspergillus flavus and it makes aflatoxin. Plus it, uh, it significantly destroys the bowls. And left unchecked in 30 years ago, you would completely decimate your field. Uh, with spraying though, you, you arrest that insect uh, from laying its eggs and, and growing and eating all of your cotton. And so uh, 23 years ago, actually 22 years ago, uh, Monsanto brought out a product here and tested it. And it was a genetically engineered cotton that contained the BT toxin. And it truly was revolutionary. You went out in the fields, you didn't find a single bacillus, uh, or excuse me, a single uh, uh, bowl, pink bollworm. And with the pink bollworm, you know, uh, eradication, um, you know, I never thought I would see the day, but in Arizona, the pink bollworm has been eradicated. So farmers went from spraying 20 to 30 times during a season uh, down to uh, three or four times now. The benefit to wildlife is you, you go down to using more environmentally benign uh, spray products that decompose in the soil very rapidly. Plus the number of sprays that you use is down to uh, you know, a minim absolute minimum, maybe at the most five a year. Right. And uh, when you do that, uh, you're, tar you're no longer inadvertently targeting uh, the wildlife associated with farming operations, and especially all of the, uh, the uh, hawks and, uh, and falcons. We actually saw out here today hawks and falcons. I don't think I've ever seen a falcon in an agricultural field, and it was the first day that I've seen one. So they're making a big comeback. And a lot of that's because not only because the it, we use insecticides to target specific insects, but we also are reducing the, the total amount of insecticide spraying.